The law of the Lord is perfect. It revives their soul. The decrees of the Lord have steadfast. They give wisdom to the simple. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. We thank God Almighty for bringing us to the end of another week. We pray at this Mass for all the intentions already mentioned and for our own individual intentions, especially for those who have requested our prayers for death, that God in His goodness will meet us all at the point of our needs and grant us every one of our good heart desires through Jesus Christ our Lord. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us now call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that I am greatly saved in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Virgin Mary and my Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May He forgive us our sins and bring us life everlasting. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Turn our hearts to you, eternal Father, and grant that seeking always the one thing necessary and carrying out works of charity, we may be dedicated to your worship through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. You have laid down your presence 
to be carefully kept. May my ways be fair in keeping your status. I will thank you with an upright heart as I learn your just command judgment. I will keep your status. Do not ever forsake me. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. Glory and praise to you, O A heart 
so sweet that it is never bitter at anyone. A heart so holy that it never contemplates evil against anyone. They say practice makes perfect. Begin with those you do not like. Change your feelings towards them. Start thinking of them in very positive terms. No longer as devils. In today's first reading, we hear the voice of Moses. You have declared this day to walk in his ways, to keep his statutes and ordinances, to obey his voice. And the Lord has declared that you are a people of his own possession, that he will set you high above all nations. You shall be a people holy to the Lord. What does it mean to be holy to the Lord? It is to be set apart. That is, to be different from the rest of the world. If the people of the world believe strongly in the principle of an eye for an eye, we who are different should practice the opposite. When we are slapped on one cheek, we turn the other. When we are offended, we forgive quickly, completely from our heart. We never contemplate evil in our heart. We are never bitter towards anyone. We do not even allow the sun to set on our anger. We reconcile immediately. This is the essence of holiness. This is what it means to be perfect as God is perfect. You may wonder, is there any reward for loving our enemies? Yes, we become free from bitterness. We sleep more peacefully at night. Food even tastes better. Our minds function better. We are able to receive new inspirations. And as Moses says, God will set us high above all nations. May God bless his words in our hearts.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May these blessed mysteries by which we are restored, O Lord, we pray, make us worthy of the gift they bestow through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for your will that our self denies to give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise, we are claimed. Holy, 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 You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this case you pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, but this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Augustine, and Cobesia, our Bishop, and all the clergy. And remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Go out to heaven, hallowed be your name. Thank you, Lord.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always freed from sin and safe from all distress as we are with the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Jesus, Immaculate Heart of Me, Set Agatha, and out of spiritual communion, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you to my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if we were already dead. 
I unite myself only to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Show unceasing favor, O Lord, to those who refresh with this divine mystery, and accompany with salutary consolations those you have imbued with heavenly teaching. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessings. May the blessing for which they have longed strengthen your faithful, O God, so that never straying from your will, they may always rejoice in your benefits through Christ our Lord. And may the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down and remain with you all, both now and forever. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Happy weekend to you all.